We're gonna use some techniques I learned from Jill Miller, from my teacher, Dicey Decline, um, and some of my own stuff. We're gonna focus mostly on our hips and our hamstrings. And so you're gonna need a roller or two balls, probably two blocks and a strap or a resistance band. And we're gonna start off and we're gonna roll the right side of our booty. Now remember, this is what my focus is today, but if you need to venture out and focus on another part as well, please do that. But I would start with these two things because we did all those squats, we did all that leg work yesterday. So just take the roller along the right side or you're on two balls. And then today I wanna pause and then kind of press your feet into the mat, do a little acupressure. Good, and then find another spot. Pause, press your feet into the mat. Maybe press near your hand. Good, find another spot. And then you can kind of alternate by between rolling and then find a spot, pause. Press in your feet, engage your glutes and really press your glutes into the roller. Good. And then find a, another spot. So maybe turn your knees a little bit more towards the ceiling. You're a little closer to the sacrum. Good. Press in your feet. Squeeze your booty. Press into the balls or into the roller. Good. And then maybe roll the roller a little lower down your booty. Same thing. Breathe. Press in your feet. Engage your glutes. Nice. Maybe scooch it on up just above your hip for my low back people. Press in your feet, press into the roller, engage your pelvic floor. Nice. And then we're gonna turn onto that outer right hip that a lot of you struggle with. You're either gonna put the roller here, you're gonna be up high, or you're gonna put one ball here and one ball next to it. So you can use two balls or one roller. Let your knees come to the side. And then again, press into your feet or even take that right knee down, press that right knee into the mat and really press into that tensor postulata. Engage your glutes, breathe, good. And then roll a little bit. Nice, find another spot. Press your knee into the ground. Engage your glutes. I know for a lot of you, this is a spot. So pause for a moment, Marianne. Press your hip into the roller. Nice, exhale, release, roll a little. Good, maybe come a little higher now. Good, press into that lower leg. Press into the, the upper part of your hip. Nice, exhale, release, good. Nice. And then come all the way down, good. Take, come onto that right side, take the roller, and then let's just roll it on our inner thigh. So close to your pelvic floor, rolling it towards your knee. Nice, and if you want more pressure there, you can sit up. If you want more pressure than that, you can put your roller underneath your knee and face down. So play around with how much pressure works for you. So if you wanna lay forward and do that, you can do that. But get those spots, press, your leg into the roller. Good, then press down into that right foot. Good, exhale, release. Good, then take the roller a little bit closer. So I'm gonna lay all the way down onto my left leg, bring the roller all the way by my inner thigh. Good, press down with that leg or press the roller into your leg. 
Good, and then exhale, release. Find another spot here, maybe all the way close to your pelvic floor. This one's a doozy. Press down. Good, release. Press down. Release. Good. Press down. Release. Nice. And then either sitting up or laying forward. Let's just get our quads. So top of your right quad, you're either sitting up and you're rolling it with your hand or you're facing down on your elbows, kind of pulling with your elbows, pumping with that bottom toe. Good, and then pause at the top of your hip, press your hip down into the floor, or down into the roller, press the roller into your leg. Good, engage your pelvic floor, hold. Good, and then release, and take the roller a little bit lower. Good, press down, into that medium, medial part of your quad. Press down, press near your elbows, and release. And then take it just above your knee. Press down. Good, press near your elbows, elongate your core. Nice, exhale, release, nice. And then just let's come into a puppy pose and feel the difference between our right leg and our left. So knees out to the side. Or you can come into frog pose. I'm not ready for that until we do both sides. So knees out to the side. Good. Hands can be down in child's pose or booty can be up. I'm going to go actually more child's pose. Feel the difference between your right leg and your left. Nice, and then let's do all of that on the left side. Good, so I'm gonna turn this way so you can see me. Nice. Take the roller underneath your left glute. Good. Nice. And let's just rock up and down for a moment, roll. Nice, maybe take the roller at an angle to go with the grain of your muscle. Nice, and then come to the top part of your muscle, press into the roller or the balls, engage your feet, exhale, release. Good, and then roll a little lower. Good, press into your feet, engage your glutes. Good, exhale, release, and then come all the way down. Press into your feet, engage your glutes. Nice, and then let's take the roller just above our hip points onto our low back. Good, press into your feet, engage your pelvic floor, press into that point. Nice, exhale, release. Good, come on to your left side. Either one ball right at the side of your hip and one ball just behind it or roller. Good. So just roll up and down for a moment. Left knee on the ground, right knee facing forward. Breathe. Be mindful of your neck that you're not straining. Good, and then pause. Press into that bottom knee. Maybe press into your elbow. Engage your booty. And then release, roll a little. Nice. Good. Go a little bit. Find another little spot. So I'm gonna go a little bit farther uh, towards my glute medius. Press into your feet. My knees are facing up this time. Engage your glute. Exhale, release. Nice. Find one more spot here. So right where I am is actually not feeling good. So I'm gonna find a new spot here because that was, I think it was right on my, um, 
right on my vein there. So press into that left leg, engage your glutes. Nice, exhale, release, good. And then I'm gonna do the uh, quads first just because that's easier. So either sit up and roll onto the top of your quads or lay down right knee out to the side. Good. Good, and just start with the top part of your quad and then find a spot Press your elbows into the ground, pull with your left toes, press into the roller, exhale, release. Good, roll a little bit more towards the midline of your quad. Nice, and then pause. Use the left toes, use your elbows to lengthen your spine and press that left quad into the roller. Good, and then release. And then if you're like me, I've rolled off of my mat. <laughs> so I'm gonna move back a little. Go just above your knee. Good, press in your elbows, pull your chest forward. Maybe roll for a moment. Good, and then use the your elbows, use your toes, use your booty. Good, and press into the top of that quad. Nice. Exhale, release, good. And then either come to a seated position and roll that inner left thigh, or take the roller, maybe come onto your side, or you can come onto your belly. I'm gonna do this kind of on my, kind of half in between. So I'm gonna start at the spot closest to my knee, roll a little bit and then pause, Press my thigh like I'm making a panini into the roller. Good, exhale, release, bring it closer. Roll side to side. Good, press into the quad or inner thigh. Good, exhale, release, and then bring it all the way in towards your pelvis and think this is awful. Nice, you can be seated or you're laying down and then press in your legs, press in those elbows, put pressure there. Nice, exhale, release, nice, good job. Okay, so that was 14 minutes. Now we're gonna do some yoga. Who feels better in their hips? Nice, yay, yay, good. Now you're gonna feel even better. Okay, so make your way onto your back. You can use a strap or not. You can use a resistance band or not. We're gonna do some stuff that we do, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently today. I'm gonna start with my left leg, so when I twist to the right, you can see what I do. So I want you to straighten your right leg or bend that right leg, either way. Press into the back of your shoulders, press into that right foot. And then just bend that left knee at a 90 degree angle over your chest, good. And then from here, bring your heel towards your right knee, left knee goes out to the side, good. Come back to parallel, and then bring your knee in, left foot goes out to the side. Good, come back to parallel. One more time, bring that knee out, ankle in. Good, exhale, bring that left foot out to the side. Press in your right foot, press in your shoulders, good. And then bring that right ankle in, Plop it onto your right knee. Good, and then we're not gonna use our hands at all today, so we normally do this, but let's take our hands out to the side so we don't fall over. And then pull that right knee into your left leg, your left leg into your knee. And just go forward and back with this. So bring it in, tap your heel. 
Bring it in, tap your heel, bring it in, good. Now, here's what we're gonna do differently. Bring your right foot to the mat, twist, but just hover that left leg. So don't bring your, le your left foot all the way to the ground. Just hover that left leg and keep pressing your right ankle into your left knee and see if you can pull that left knee open a little bit. See if you can pull that left knee away just using your legs. Nice. And then exhale, release. Good. Hug that knee into your chest. Good. Bring that left foot down. Bring that right knee in. Good. Press into your shoulders. Good. Right knee is at a 90 degree angle. Good. And then take your ankle towards your left knee. So your knee comes out, your foot comes in. Good, come back to neutral. Take your foot out to the side. Good, come back to the neutral. Take that knee in. Breathe, come back to neutral. Take that knee out. Nice, come back to neutral. And then bring that right ankle onto your left knee. Good, hands out to the side. So press in your hands, press into your left foot. See if you can press that right knee away. Good, and then pull your left leg towards you as you press your right knee away without using your hands. So just using your legs. Keep that pressure, keep that action. Nice. And then bring your left foot to the mat. Press into your hands, twist towards the left without bringing your right foot to the ground. So hover your right foot. Yes, press into your hands. Press that right ankle into your left knee. Feel that opening in the right side of your hip. Nice, exhale, release, come back to center. Good. And then hug your knees into your chest. Good. Take your hands behind your knees, do a happy baby, or take your hands on your ankles, or grab the inside of your legs, press your arms into your legs, your legs into your arms. Get those inner groin muscles. Nice. Good. And then bring your feet back to the mat, and here's where I'm gonna use a strap, you don't have to, or you can. Good. So I'm gonna put a strap around the ball of my right foot. Good. And then from here, let's just start with our usual sending that right leg up. Nice. And then let's bend your right knee, bring your heel towards your booty. Good. Send that right leg up, pull your leg towards your chest, press your foot into the strap. Good, bend your knee, bring your heel towards your booty. Good, and then press into your left foot, pull that right foot towards you as you press your foot into the strap. Good, one more time, bend that right heel in towards your booty. Good. Send that right leg towards you as you press your foot into the strap. Notice if you've opened up just a little bit more. Good. And then bend your right knee, keep your foot face towards the ceiling. So that half happy baby. So press your foot into the strap, your strap into the foot. Your shoulders are on the mat. Good, and then from here, kick it out to straight. Good, and then back to the bent knee, foot facing the ceiling. Good, out to straight. Back to the bent knee, and if you're tipping at all, take that left hand out to the side. Out to straight, good. And then press in your left foot, press in your left hand, bring that right leg towards you. Nice. Good, and then bring your right leg towards the sky, 
Straighten your left leg, pull your left heel into the ground. Straighten that left leg, pull that left heel into the ground. Nice. Switch hands, so take your left hand on the strap, right hand out. Good. And if it's too much to keep your, your right leg straight, you can bend it. Press in your right hand and just bring that right leg across and then bring it back to center. Good. And if you're too close to the wall, scooch a little bit away. Bring that right leg across. Good. Bring it back to center. Good. And then bring that right leg all the way across. If it's too intense with your leg straight, you can bend it. And then press in your left ankle and your right hand. Feel that deep and elongation. If you're by a wall, you can press your foot into the wall. Press your foot into the strap, your strap into the foot. Good, and then back off a little bit. Come to that IT band. My leg is shaking, so if you're shaking, so am I. So come back to that halfway point. Get that IT band. Nice, and then come all the way up to center. Good. Send both legs into the strap and send them up. Feel the difference between your right hamstrings and your left. Nice, relax your shoulders. Good, and then bring that right foot to the mat. I'm gonna do it with a bent knee. If you're more open, you can have a, a straight right leg. And then press in your shoulders. Take the strap in your left hand, maybe your right hand's out to the side. And then bend that left knee. Do the hamstring glides, left leg up, bring it a little closer. So pressing your foot into the strap, pressing the strap into your foot. Bend, good, send that left leg a little closer. Good, bend, send your left leg a little closer and then just hang out here for a minute. See if your hamstrings open up just a little bit more by giving them some space. And some time. Nice. And then take your right hand out to the side. Maybe take your right foot a little wider if you need to. Press into your right hand and your right foot. Good. Strap or hand is on your left leg. And then bend that left knee. Send your left foot towards the ceiling in this half happy baby. So bend the left knee out to the side. Yep. Heel is towards the ceiling. Yes. Nice. And then from this space, straighten that left leg out to the side. Yes. Good. Bend that left knee, heel towards the ceiling. Press your foot into your band, the band into your foot. Good. Send that left leg out to the side. Good. One more time. Press in your right foot, bend that left knee. Left foot faces up towards the ceiling. Good. And then press it to straight. Good. Press in your right hand, your right foot, and then press that left leg into the strap. See if you can bring that leg a little bit closer towards your left ear. Nice. Exhale, release. Bring that left leg up towards the sky, straighten your right leg, dig that right heel into the, to the floor. Good. Take your right hand on your left leg or on the strap, left hand out to the side. Grip with that left hand and then bring that leg all the way across and then back to center. Good, bring it across, so dynamic movement. If you need to bend that top leg, you can. Back to center. Good. Take your time, Marianne. We're not going anywhere. Bring it across. Good. And then next time you come across, leave it there. Press into your left hand so you don't fall over. Press into that right ankle, lengthen your spine. And press that left foot into the strap. Nice, you guys. Good. Then come part way up. Focusing more on the IT band. Again, press your foot into the strap, your strap into the foot. Press into your left hand. Good. And then come all the way up. Good. Send both legs up to the strap, into the strap. Four hands around your knees. 
Relax your shoulders and just let your legs come towards your face. See if you can have them straight. See if they come towards you a little bit more. Everybody looks good. Take your time. Maybe they don't even move, but you just feel a release. Nice. Release the strap and then turn to one side and sit up or rock and roll up if you're feeling a little like you want to move a little bit. Okay, now we're going to probably need our blocks. So we're going to start with our feet not as wide, so not quite 90-90 yet, pre-90-90, so a shorter 90-90. Good, but you want your feet wider than your hips. Good. And then you're gonna come to the right. Come forward. Come back to center. Come to the left. Now, if you have to use your hands, use your hands. Come forward. Good. Slowly come on up. Good. Start with your right leg and then follow it with your left. Good. Bring your chest forward. Nice. Inhale, come on up. Start with your left leg, then your right. Good. Lean to the left. Come forward. Nice. And then meet me back in center. Have your blocks in your hands. Okay. Here we go, Cheryl. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm using two blocks for this. Um, you can use one or none. You're gonna come to the right, press down in your blocks. You're gonna press your blocks on either side of your, outside of your right hip, outside of your foot, and then press on up. That's why I have two blocks. Press on up, yes, and then reach that right arm up and back. Maybe behind your head. Nice. Exhale, come on down, holding the blocks. Slowly fold forward, bring your booty to the mat. Good. And then take your knees to center. And then twist over to the left. Good. And then you're kind of at an angle with this front leg. And then come on up. Good, and then this time your left arm comes up or behind your head, open your chest. Nice. And then exhale, come on down and think what the heck is going on? Good, come back to center. Nice. And then one more time, come over to the right. Nice, so if you don't have blocks, you can just come onto your fingertips, right? But your knee is at this kind of angle to lift up. Good. Reach that right arm up, opening your chest. Maybe your hand is behind your head. Good. Fold forward, come on down. Nice. And then slowly come back the other way. Good. Hands on your blocks, come on up. Good, reach that left arm up. Nice. Exhale, come back down. Good. And then we're gonna take our feet wider and we're gonna do 90-90. So now take your feet wider with or without your hands. Just shift your right knee and then your left so that your shin isn't 90 degree angle is parallel to the front of the mat. Good. And then come forward, put your right hand on your knee and press your knee into your hand, your hand into your knee. Press your knee into your hand, your hand into your knee. Nice. Inhale, come on up with or without your hands. Rotate your knees. Good. Then left knee comes forward, right knee comes down. Now, what if you can't be this far apart? You can bring that right knee forward. That's fine. Good. Bring your weight forward 
and then take your left hand on your knee, press your hand into your knee, your knee into your hand, drive that right knee back. It may be sending your chest forward. Nice. Exhale, release. Good, we're gonna do that one more time. Coming back through center. Good, bring your knees parallel. If that doesn't work, bring this back leg in a little closer. Whatever works for you. Nice, turn your hips towards the front of the mat. Yes. And then put your left hand on your ankle, your right hand on your knee, bring your weight forward, and then press your hand down into your knee as you pull your knee up into your hand. Good, so activate, maybe come a little more forward and lift that back leg, maybe skip that and be like, no, thank you. Good, and then from here, either stay here and come into pigeon or send that left leg behind you and come into pigeon. So however it feels good to you. If your leg is straight, make sure it's directly behind your left glute. Kind of pull with your elbows and then set your head onto your fists. Feel that release in your outer right hip. Nice, inhale, walk it up, and just for a moment, send your chest forward. So just like we did when we were up in the sky, pull your chest forward, press that right ankle down, that right knee down. Good, exhale, release, good. Let's come through center, nice. And then shift over to the other side, bring your weight forward. Left hand on your knee, right hand on your ankle. Press your hand into your knee, your knee into your hand. So feel that activation in your outer left glute. Good, turn your chest towards the front of the mat. Good, and then you can come a little bit forward if you want. If you did so on the other side, you can do these lifts with the back leg or you can be like, no, thank you. Nice. And then from here, come into your pigeon pose. So either in this 90-90, bring it forward like this, make sure your hips face the front of the mat. Or regular pigeon, I think that's easier for your hips facing the front of the mat. Nice. Make sure your back leg is directly behind your booty. Good. And then just feel that release in your outer hip, maybe in your low back. This is a forward fold. Nice, and then walk your hands on up and do like an up dog. So press in your hands, pull your shoulders back, get that chest opening. Nice, you guys, good form. Exhale, release, come back to center. Nice. And then let's take our legs wide. If you can't do this, you can have one leg in, one leg out. If you can't do that, you can have both your legs like this. Good. So come wide and then just shimmy yourself to come forward. Press into your heels and then release. Good. Press into your heels and then release. Maybe you're all the way up here. It's all good. It's all good. Maybe your face is on the ground. All good. Press into your heels. Lengthen your spine. Good. And then Crawl forward, nice. You can pulse your legs. Nice, 
and then inhale, come all the way up. Good. Let's bring your legs in front of you. You can sit on a blanket if you want. Slide that right foot in and over your left and then press that right foot down, get tall. Take your hands, interlace them around your shin, pull your shoulders back, nice. Dig that left heel down, lengthen your spine, and then twist to the right. So bring that left elbow to your knee, twist to the right, press that foot down, elongate your spine, and then you can stay here or you can bring your right hand behind you, pull that shoulder back, bring that left arm into that left thigh and twist a little deeper, keeping that right foot connected with the ground. Good, and then exhale, come back to center. Bring this right leg on top of your left, or you can bring this left knee in. If you're kind of wobbly, then lean forward and sit on a block. And if none of that's accessible, just have that right leg on top. Nice, good job. And then let's just throw in a little bit of shoulders. So send that right arm up, reach, 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 and then bend your elbow and straighten. Bend your elbow and straighten. Bend your elbow, press your head into your hand, your hand into your head, and then grab that right elbow with your left and take these circles with your shoulders. A little bit of mobility work here. Nice. Exhale, release. Good, send that left arm up. Bend and do like isometric strengthening here. So feel like you're digging through mud. Good, inhale, exhale, nice. And then bring this right hand onto your left elbow, pull it over to the side. Nice, Cheryl, sit on, a, on your block and you'll, you'll have more space in your hips. Nice, exhale, release, good. And then take both your thumbs down, pull your shoulders back, and just take your right hand in front of your left, come out, left hand in front of right. Good, right hand in front of left, left hand in front of right. Good, and then from here, reach that right arm up, Bend your elbow, make a fist. Take that left arm down, make a fist. Press your left hand into your low back, your right hand into your head. If you can easily reach, go for it. I am not touching my hands towards each other. Good, exhale, release. And then forward fold. Nice, inhale, come on out. Good, let's stay on the block. I'm on the block. Good, shake out your legs. Good, and then take that left leg on top of your right. Hug everything in. So this is gonna give you some height, it's gonna give you some space. Nice. Push that left foot into the mat, press that right heel into the mat, lengthen your spine. Good, and then on the block, I can't get, I'm not gonna get my elbow in there. I'm just gonna keep my right hand on my knee. Good, and then take my left hand behind me. So lengthen through your spine, press in your right heel, press into that right uh, left foot. And then either keep that right hand here or reach it on up and press it into your thigh. Feel how nice that is being on the block. I have that length, you have that space. That feels better at my outer right hip. Nice, and then exhale, come back to center. Bring this left knee over the right, however it goes. Yeah, just let it drape. So most of you just stay here. You don't have to bring this knee in. So you're getting your left hip and your right hamstring. Or if you're super open in your hips and you wanna bring that right leg in, bring that right leg in, it's all good. Okay. I'm gonna stay here. All right, 
Press down, lengthen. Let's take that left arm up. Good, bend your elbow. Good, take that right thumb down. Bend your elbow. Good, and then just press your fists into the back of your head, into the back, into your upper back or middle back, wherever you are. Nice. And then exhale, release. Good. And do a fold. Nice. Inhale, come on up. Good. We're going to do frog pose and then child's pose. So I like to do frog pose with a prop. It's a little bit less awful to me. We've kind of opened a lot of things, but I'm also going to face this way on my mat. So you're going to take your knees wide and then take the block. I'm going to go at the medium height, put it underneath your hips, or you might want to use a blanket that might be nicer. And then press in your elbows, lengthen your spine, press into your knees, lift your hips. And then exhale, release. See if you can go a little lower. Good. Press in your knees. And I'm gonna take my block to a lower level. Press in your elbows. Good, see if you can go a little lower. Good, and then press in your elbows, press in your knees. Good, and then exhale, release. See where you end up. Nice. If it's too intense for you, you can do one leg at a time. Nice. And then press yourself on up. Nice. Let's come on to all fours. And then walk your booty back to child's pose or puppy pose, whatever one feels good for you. 